So, I have here this big pile of denim. I'm going to be randomly pulling out each item and talking about how to style this particular piece and giving you an outfit example. Clearly we have a lot to get through, so we better get started. Okay. Ah, white pair of jeans. This is actually a great place to start since we are going to be heading into fall rather soon and I know that a lot of people don't actually like wearing light colors in the fall and winter season. I am not one of these people and I think actually a light color is great to brighten up a cold dark day. Also, if blue denim is just a little bit too common for you, a white pair is a great option. Personally, I like to pair my white jeans with dark items just because I really like that contrast. If, like in the outfit that I've been showing you on screen, I pair my white jeans with a graphic tee, then I like to add a pair of combat boots to, I don't know, add a little bit of extra edge. So, we're done with that. Okay. A black pair of jeans. Black jeans are actually a staple for me. Blech. My hair is getting in my face. Blech. Don't enjoy eating my hair. Where was I? Yes, black jeans are just as versatile, you can pair them with anything, you can pair your blue jeans with, and they are going to work just as well, except they actually will make you look a little bit more dressed up than a pair of blue jeans would. Also, another fun fact is that they're dark, so they're going to be showing dirt a lot less than light blue jeans will. Now, I personally really like the look of a monochrome black outfit, so I often pair my black jeans with a black top and a pair of black shoes. In this particular case, I'm wearing a sort of sporty looking outfit, except, you know, of course it's all just for looks, because no self-respecting human would exercise in jeans, probably. Don't take offense if you do, you're awesome. I just personally would never be able to. I am not the most flexible person without wearing jeans. Okay. Let's do this dramatically. We have moved on from pants to a denim jacket. So I know I say versatile a lot when it comes to denim and other pieces, but a denim jacket is a really versatile piece. You can pretty much throw it over just about anything, as long as you're going for a casual outfit. For example... See? It works! But you can also throw it over a slip dress, especially if you're looking for a little bit more coverage since slip dresses or other short sleeve dresses might just not be your thing. Or, you know, if you haven't yet roasted in the summer weather and would like to add a little bit of warmth to your look. Seriously though, here it does tend to get quite cold in the evenings, even in the summer, and most definitely in early fall, so a denim jacket is a great piece to just take with me wherever I'm going and throw out... not throw out, definitely not that, and throw on onto anything that I'm wearing that day. Okay. Yes. Ooh, exciting. Next piece. Ah, so we have a pair of shorts. Our first pair of shorts. Actually, this is one of my favorite pairs of shorts. I just have a thing for pearls. I don't know why. That brings me to embellished denim. Denim can actually be a very casual fabric, so embellishments make it a little bit dressier. Now, I actually really like to match my embellishments to the rest of my outfit. I think it's a fun little take on a sort of matchy look that doesn't quite match. In this case, you can see I'm matching the sort of polka dot pattern that the pearls are creating with a polka dot top. And then I'm pretty much just echoing the black and white colors in the top with a pair of black tights and white combat boots. Let's move on. This, though, is a pair of flared jeans. I know that this might not be the most popular silhouette, although it is getting a lot more popular now, especially with all the 70s trends, but I have actually always liked flared jeans more than skinny jeans. Despite that, I have a lot of skinny jeans. What can I say? Skinny jeans just look good with taller boots, and flared jeans unfortunately do not, because it's just really hard to tuck this much fabric into a pair of boots and actually make it look good. Other than that though, I really like the silhouette. It's no secret that I am not a size zero by any means, so I think that the bulk at the bottom kind of helps to balance out the uh, <laughs> junk in my trunk. So if you do have a 
slightly curvier figure, definitely consider a pair of flare jeans because it helps to balance things out a little bit and makes things look more proportional. So this particular pair is black and I really like to wear black with white. Black and white is basically a classic combination. So that's pretty much what I'm doing in this particular outfit. The graphic on the top makes the outfit a little bit more interesting and a little bit less plain than just a white t-shirt would have made it. Ooh. Oh, right, right. Okay, I cheated. Let me shuffle. I saw what the next thing was going to be. Okay, let's do it. And this pair of jeans is actually a printed pair of denim. Now, I know printed denim is not that popular, and I definitely understand why. It's not that easy to wear, but even if you have a more neutral colored print like this, very very dark floral, it can be a little bit tough to print mix and it's definitely not going to go with everything in your closet, like a more neutral colored pair of denim. If you have a lot of basics in your closet though, and a lot of solid colored pieces, this is a great option to spice things up a little bit. If you're like me and have a lot of prints in your wardrobe and still want to have a printed piece of denim, then I have some tips for print mixing. Pretty much the easiest way to mix prints is to just pair two of the same color together. So here there's some red and I'm pairing this with a top that has some red in it. And if you do that with just about any two prints, you're pretty much guaranteed that they will work well together. All right, let's do this. Okay, it's long, sorry. I'm going to cheat and just grab something that I feel is shorter. Yes, what is this? Oh, denim skirt. So if you are not into denim shorts, then a denim skirt is your friend, unless you're not into either of them. Now, denim skirts come in many different shapes and sizes, and this one actually has quite a bit of distressing on it, which makes it a lot more casual. Not that a denim skirt is generally a very dressy item. <sighs> I keep eating my hair. It's almost as if I didn't have breakfast. So denim skirts are pretty casual. But just like any other pair of blue denim, you can wear them with just about anything. One particular tip that I do have for a denim skirt though, and this applies to denim shorts as well, especially if you like shorter shorts, if you're a little bit self-conscious about showing a lot of skin, you can always pair your shorter denim with a longer sleeve top. That also helps to balance out the silhouette a little bit. Other than that, this pretty much goes with anything, and again, you really don't have to do that, but I find that sometimes it provides a sort of nice contrast to the very short denim skirt. Also, it keeps you just a little bit warmer if things are a little bit chillier where you are. I mean, of course, your legs are still exposed, but at least your arms are covered, so depending on your personal cold tolerance, that might be good. Let's shuffle. All right, so this is just a classic blue pair of jeans, but this one has distressing. It's actually a very common element nowadays. But of course, a pair of jeans that has this dressing automatically becomes more casual than a pair that does not. So if you want to dress something like this up, you can always pair it with a dressier top or a dressier pair of shoes. I actually sort of did that here because I paired it with a velvet t-shirt. From far away, it just looks like a regular jeans and tee outfit, but when you get a little bit closer, you can see that it's a little bit more interesting. And I really like that subtle difference. It's still a pretty casual outfit, but the velvet makes it just a little bit more interesting. All right. Ah, okay, okay. Shuffle in. Oh my god. What do I do? Let's go with the skirt. I haven't done as many skirts. So, this is actually a black denim skirt. Since we've already had black jeans, I've already given you the whole they're just as versatile as blue jeans speech, so I'm not gonna go into that. They are. So that pretty much makes a black skirt just as versatile as a blue denim skirt, but it is a little bit dressier. And as I mentioned, I personally really love a monochrome black outfit, so that's what I went for for this skirt. Of course, you can pair it with just about anything. Personally, I find monochrome outfits very, very easy to put together because you don't really need to think, you just pull items that are in the same color family and pair them together and they're pretty much guaranteed to work. And yet they always look fairly elegant, even if you're wearing something like a denim skirt. Or at least that's my personal opinion. All right. Let's pull something from the back. Huh. 
we have another pair of denim shorts. So yes, denim shorts are very versatile. Now, you may have noticed something, my denim shorts are really short. Everything I'm saying applies to a longer pair of denim shorts, if that's your thing. I just think that denim shorts work better with my body type. So, I sometimes pair my little shorty shorts with a pair of more opaque tights. By the way, another benefit of doing this is that so few people actually wear shorts with tights, so your outfit will be a little bit more unique. And of course, it adds another little fun element to your outfit and allows you to wear your shorts in a slightly different way. Ooh. Another blue pair of jeans, but this one is a very, very light wash. And they are high-waisted which you can tell because they're practically the length of my entire torso, obviously. On my body they become much shorter because, well, my body takes up a bunch of this real estate. But they're definitely high-waisted. Now, of course, you can wear high-waisted jeans in the same way you would wear, well, low-waisted jeans, medium-rise jeans, just about any other pair of denim. But if you like crop tops and are looking for ways to wear them that will give you a little bit more coverage, a high-waisted pair of, well, jeans or just about anything is a great option. Now, in the outfit I'm showing you, I opted for even more coverage by adding a lace long sleeve shirt on top. Since the top is completely transparent, wearing it with a high-waisted pair of jeans and a crop top allows me to pretty much wear it without showing much of anything. Which, by the way, is another great way to wear your sheer tops. You can just pair them with a crop top and wear them with something high-waisted. You're fully covered. Let's do this. I feel like we're close to being done. The pile feels smaller. Ah, this is fun. So, we have reached colored denim. In this particular case, that color is pink. But colored denim comes in many different varieties. This is another example of something that is a little bit more interesting. And unlike that printed pair of denim we were talking about earlier, this is actually much easier to wear. Because, well, it's just a solid color. So you can wear it with all your prints and all your solid pieces too. And of course, depending on what colors you generally tend to wear and what your neutrals are, you can go with a more neutral color. And if you do, you'll pretty much be able to wear it with everything in your wardrobe. So if your wardrobe involves a lot of dark colors, you can go with something like a dark gray. Or if you're looking for something more fun, you can go for a brighter color. And something like this will make whatever neutral pieces you have a lot more fun. All right. So we have a light pair of denim that is not quite white. So far I've been showing you either jeans that go all the way past my ankles or much shorter items. This is actually somewhere in between. This particular pair hits just above the ankle. So, you know, if you want to be a little bit more scandalous and show off those ankles, that's a great option. Yes. <laughs> So I've already told you I like pairing lighter denim with dark pieces for a little bit of contrast. But the opposite of that is also true. I also like pairing them with light colored pieces for a more neutral and delicate look. Both options work equally well, I think. And when you're dealing with denim, you can pair it with just about anything. Now, something that I personally like is matching your top to your shoes, because that pretty much helps to make your outfit look cohesive without making it a monochrome outfit, which you don't always want to go for monochrome, right? Sometimes you want to change it up. All right. Hmm. Wow, last piece, awesome. So this time we have a pair of denim shorts that's not blue. But it's still a fairly neutral color. I mean, it's it's almost white, but not quite. Huh. It's almost white, but not quite. Always a delight. And now that I've treated you to some poetry that you didn't want or ask for, getting back to this. Because they're still a fairly neutral color, they're going to be just as versatile as everything else we talked about. So first of all, since they're really short, we're going to balance them off with a longer sleeve top. Second, we're going to make that top dark, just to add a little bit of extra contrast. And now I believe a tip that I haven't yet mentioned in this video, which is that you can actually match your bottoms to your shoes to add another element of cohesiveness to your outfit. I mentioned that you can match your top to your shoes, but I didn't mention that you can match your bottoms to your shoes instead, which is just another great option. All right. Enjoy all your denim items now that you're armed with what I hope are useful tips on how to style them. If you want more fun tips, be sure to check out these videos right here. And if you're still here because you liked this video, then there's a subscribe button down below and also a like button. See you next time. Bye!